15 Things You Didn't Know About Volkswagen Welcome to ALUX.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers and welcome to another exciting original video presented by Alux.com. Today we're looking at one of the giants in the automobile industry, a company that has stood the test of time and continues to thrive throughout the world. Let's talk about Volkswagen. Volkswagen was established in 1937 by the German labor front in Berlin with the goal of manufacturing cars that the average German could afford. At this time, only one German out of 50 owned a car, so there was some competition in the market at the time to produce a car for the masses. With some help from Porsche and support from Hitler, which we'll talk about in a minute, the Volkswagen Beetle was born. Over the years, Volkswagen has faced scandal, uncertain times, attempted takeovers and lawsuits, and still they persist today as one of the longest running brands in the market, and they show no signs of slowing down. In fact, from 2006 to 2016, they nearly doubled their global sales from 5.7 million to 10.3 million. The Volkswagen Group owns some of the most recognized luxury car brands, and despite a 2015 emissions scandal, they posted a record profit of nearly $6 billion in 2016. If you're new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. Volkswagen inspires us with their ability to change with the times, their constant drive to do better and become more dominant in their field, and their creative spirit. So, let's take a look at the 15 things you didn't know about Volkswagen. Number 1. Ferdinand Porsche created the Volkswagen Beetle In 1933, Ferdinand Porsche built a car he called the Volksauto, with an air-cooled rear engine, torsion bar suspension, and a rounded front hood, resembling a Beetle shape. When Hitler wanted to offer an affordable car to the masses, he decided to sponsor a state-owned factory that produced cars on Porsche's design. The car was originally called the KDF Wagon, which translated to strength through joy in its long form. Number 2. Volkswagen was sued prior to World War II over the VW Beetle design. Ferdinand Porsche was inspired by the Tatra cars created by Czechoslovakian carmaker Hans Ledvinka. He thought the Beetle design was a little too similar to his T97 car, so he sued Porsche. However, the lawsuit was abandoned when Germany invaded Czechoslovakia and Tatra was forced to halt production. After World War II, the lawsuit was reopened. Eventually, Volkswagen ended up paying Tatra 3 million Deutschmarks, which is around $6 million US at today's valuation. The money paid in damages meant Volkswagen was limited financially from producing new models, and this is one reason why the VW Beetle was in production so long. Number 3. After World War II, Ford turned down an offer to take over Volkswagen free of charge. After World War II, the fate of the Volkswagen company was uncertain. Their commercial vehicles didn't have much of a chance to take off before they turned to producing solely military vehicles, so the company didn't seem to have much value after the war was over. The company was rejected by representatives from American, British, Australian, and French motor industries. It was even offered to Ford free of charge, but Henry Ford II turned it down after the chairman of the board of the Ford Motor Company advised him that the company wasn't worth a dime. Number 4. Porsche tried to stage a takeover of VW in 2008 In 2008, Porsche made a plan to quietly buy up shares of Volkswagen so they could ultimately overtake the company. When details of the plan were made public after Porsche denied it for months, VW stocks soared from 200 euros to more than 1,000 euros. Porsche revealed their holding of VW options contracts and conventional shares, which comprised nearly the 75% required to take ownership of the company. The tables turned in 2009 when Porsche had debt trouble, and Volkswagen was forced to rescue the company in what would become a reverse takeover. The former CEO of Porsche, Wendelin Weideking, and the former CFO were charged with market manipulation and later acquitted in 2016. Porsche is now owned by Volkswagen. Number 5. A VW bus was sold at auction in Germany for $235,000 When you think of cars selling for high prices at auction, the VW bus definitely doesn't even make you think of the top 10. The VW bus was designed to be a cheap mode of transportation, and it became an iconic symbol of the 1960s counterculture. The minibus is not focused on luxury or power. It offered bench-like seating for up to 9 people and operated with about 30 horsepower. 
Although the vehicle is not particularly high quality, it does attract some attention at auctions because of nostalgia and emotional appeal. The most expensive VW bus ever purchased at an auction had only 6,400 miles on the odometer and was a 1955 Special Edition Samba Microbus Deluxe which featured chrome hubcaps, a large VW badge, a two-tone paint job, 23 windows, and a big cloth sunroof. It was purchased for $235,000 at an auction in Germany in 2014. Number 6. The final VW was named El Rey. The final original Type 1 VW Beetle was produced in Puebla, Mexico in July of 2003. It was named El Rey, which translates to The King. A mariachi band played as the final Beetle was being produced, and when it was completed, it was delivered to the company's museum in Wolfsburg, Germany. Number 7. One of the final VW Beetles produced was listed for sale at close to $1.1 million. When VW decided to end production of the Beetle, a final special series of 3,000 Beetles were produced and marketed as the Ultima Edition, or Final Edition. The cars came in only Aquarius blue or beige and included a 1.6 liter engine, white wall tires, a chrome glove box badge, a Wolfsburg emblem above the front trunk's handle, body colored wheels, tinted glass, chrome features, and a VW Ultima Edition plaque. One of these cars was put up for sale in 2015 with less than 75 miles on the odometer, with a listing price of $1.1 million. Number 8. The first year Volkswagen were sold in the US, only two units were purchased. Volkswagens were first marketed and sold in the US in 1949, and their cars were briefly advertised as victory wagons. Sales started to slow with only two units sold in that first year. It wasn't until 1955 that Volkswagen of America was formed to standardize sales and service in the US. Number 9. The Volkswagen Group owns some of the most luxurious car brands in the world. The Volkswagen Group is the largest automaker by worldwide sales as of 2016, and it includes many big-name car brands, some of which may surprise you. The car brands that fall under the Volkswagen Group umbrella include Audi, Bentley, Bugatti, Porsche, and Lamborghini. Ducati motorcycles are also included on this list. Number 10. German historians estimate 80% of Volkswagen's World War II workforce was slave labor. At the beginning of World War II, Volkswagen production turned to military vehicles that supported the Nazi regime. Slave labor was the norm in the Volkswagen plant, with forced laborers coming from multiple concentration camps. Plant managers reportedly requested laborers from these camps to meet the wartime demands. In 1998, Volkswagen admitted that it used 15,000 slaves during this time, and a lawsuit was filed by survivors and their families for restitution. Volkswagen voluntarily set up a $12 million reparations fund for the victims. Similar suits were brought against Audi, BMW, Mercedes-Benz, and other German-based companies. If you want to learn more interesting facts about Mercedes-Benz, click in the upper right-hand corner to check out our video of 15 things you didn't know about Mercedes-Benz. Number 11. Volkswagen had to pay a $120,000 fine to the EPA in 1973. In 1973, Volkswagen was caught using defeat devices to disable pollution control systems in their cars. This resulted in them having to pay a $120,000 fine to the Environmental Protection Agency, which is around $660,000 at today's valuation. Number 12. Volkswagen was the most valuable company in the world for just one day. As of 2016, Apple is the most valuable company in the world with a market value that is close to $800 billion, but Volkswagen once held this distinction for one day. In 2008, Volkswagen briefly overcame Exxon as the most valuable company when news of Porsche's efforts to overtake the company sent short-selling investors into a frenzy. With Porsche announcing that they owned 74% of VW stock, short sellers realized that there was a lot less stock available than they had thought. This caused the law of supply and demand to kick in, and the price of VW stocks soared. Investors rushed to buy the stock, pushing the prices even higher. Meanwhile, the company's value was climbing higher and higher, eventually reaching $343 billion. This meant that at one point, Porsche's shares were worth $127 billion, while Porsche itself was worth only $11 billion. The following day, the market settled, and Exxon reclaimed the leading spot. Number 13. The Volkswagen W12 Nardo concept set a world record. 
In October 2001, a prototype of the Volkswagen W12 Nardo concept car was introduced at the Tokyo Motor Show with a top speed of 357 kilometers, or 222 miles per hour. It could go from 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds, with 591 horsepower. In February of 2002, the VW W12 Coupe took the world record for all speed classes for covering the most distance over a span of 24 hours, going a distance of over 7,740 kilometers, or 4,809 miles, with an average speed of 322 kilometers, or 200 miles per hour. Number 14. Chris Pratt personally restored his 1965 VW Beetle over 12 years. Chris Pratt says that he spent 12 years personally restoring a 1965 Volkswagen Beetle that he won in a game of blackjack. He rebuilt the car from the ground up using skills he acquired through reading manuals and watching YouTube videos. Other celebrities who are proud Volkswagen owners include Jennifer Lawrence, Justin Timberlake, Hugh Jackman, and Heidi Klum. Number 15. There is a Guinness World Record for the most people crammed into a VW Beetle. There are a few different Guinness World Records involving Volkswagen, and one of these is cramming the most people into a standard VW Beetle. The record was set in April of 2000 in Kramser, Australia, when a total of 25 people packed themselves into the small vehicle. Now that you've learned more about Volkswagen, do you think this brand will be part of your future car collection? Let us know what you think in the comments. Still here? Thanks for sticking around. Here's a bonus fact just for you. From the time that the first model was created in 1938 until the last was produced in 2003, over 21 million Type 1 VW Beetles were produced. Thank you for spending some time with us, a Luxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an a Luxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.